I'm Dr. Sunanda Kane, Professor of Medicine at Mayo Clinic in Gastroenterology, and I want to spend a few minutes talking about poop. Now we all know that poop is waste material and that it also contains bacteria, but also that poop contains other potentially helpful things in order to take care of patients better. So we know that if you get diarrhea that we'll do stool samples for abnormal bacteria, but also stool can be helpful because when there are certain inflammatory conditions present that certain proteins will end up in the stool and those can be markers for inflammation and then help us decide whether patients need a colonoscopy or not. And this is particularly helpful for pediatric patients because colonoscopy is very invasive and needs to be done with anesthesia in an operating room. So the stakes are much higher for, for little kids and so stool tests are used a lot more for kids than adults to see if there's uh, proteins that would suggest inflammation or something wrong within the colon. In adults, we're starting to use this more, particularly in inflammatory bowel diseases like Crohn's and colitis, to help us tell whether there's active inflammation in the colon or not. And so a stool sample that a patient provides is sent to a lab and we can actually measure the amount of certain proteins that are in the stool that may indicate that there is active inflammation. And so two of these proteins are called lactoferrin and calprotectin. And these are proteins that are produced by white blood cells and would suggest that there's active inflammation. So these levels are next to zero in patients who have normal colons and if they have inactive disease. And the levels go up depending on how severe the disease is or how active it is within the colon. So these can be very helpful to tell us whether somebody might need a colonoscopy or not. And in some cases it may be actually able to replace a colonoscopy because if the test is normal then it means that there is not active inflammation and that the patient's symptoms like diarrhea or abdominal pain are not due to active inflammation. We also can use these tests to follow patients because we know that if you start off with a really high level that we can repeat tests and make sure that the levels are going back down to normal and that would indicate that there's a response to medicine or treatment. The other interesting thing obviously that's come about in the last few months is the stool test for colon cancer and that's called Cologuard, and it is a test that looks for DNA in the stool of large polyps or cancer that shed DNA into the stool. This is not approved for patients with inflammatory bowel disease. It is FDA approved to test for polyps and cancer in patients who do not have any other risk factors for polyps or colon cancer. Interestingly, having said that, researchers here at Mayo Clinic and my colleague John Kissel is actually working with a group of other scientists to look for a stool DNA test for inflammatory bowel disease patients. And so far, the early results of this have been very encouraging. If you have inflammatory bowel disease and have a history of either cancer or polyps or dysplasia and are interested in being in one of our studies, then clinicaltrials.gov has listed the study sites for this stool test. And we encourage you to talk to your local doctors about potentially getting involved with these sorts of studies. So for right now, stool testing for DNA for cancer and polyps is not for inflammatory bowel disease, but other stool markers and proteins can be helpful and are FDA approved to help manage patients with inflammatory bowel disease.